Hey, advanced wind players, Mr. Fitz here coming from my basement because it's early and I don't want to wake up Mrs. Fitz and Hannah. All right, I uh, noticed the advanced winds rock sign. Today I'm going to be using a trumpet as an example instrument. And um, so we're doing number 50. It's a Mozart piece. I want to say Jubilate, but I could be wrong on that pronunciation. Maybe you guys could look it up and find out for me. All right. All right, but uh, I'll play it first and then we'll talk about it. Here goes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Page turn, sorry guys. I got the score book. Here we go. Second part. One, two, three. So, cool. All right, now, the thing about this one, <clears throat> first of all, uh, the tempo I was playing at was sort of a moderate tempo. I know it says Allegretto. Um, so, always play at a tempo that's comfortable for you, and always break it down into two measure little pieces to, to learn it. I mean, if you find that it's easy enough to play right off the bat, that's great, but um, we want to make sure that we're doing a couple things very importantly that are correctly. So, let's look at the first two measures and, and you know, we'll kind of talk about that. All right, so first step in the process is to say the rhythm, okay? And I'm not going to say it on pitch. I think I was saying them on pitch last week, but I think I've figured out that it makes it easier for people if you just say the rhythm and tap your foot, all right? And you will totally ignore slurs when you do this. You're just going to say the ta's and the tt's and all that good stuff. All right, so here goes. First two measures. Say it with me. One, two, three, four. Ta ti 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 ta 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 ta. Easy enough, right? Here's the foot cam. See my foot? I got a big work boot on here so I can hear my foot. Okay, so here here goes. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Ta ti 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 ta 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 ta. All right. So you notice I didn't do any slurs and I didn't do any articulation. There is an articulation marking of an accent in the second measure, but that's going to come later. All right. Now the next step in the process, which I'd like you to do, is to do exactly the same thing except your instrument instead of your voice, but only pick just one note. Okay. So we want to just get that rhythm, make sure we're keeping our foot tap or our toe tap if you prefer not to tap your whole foot, but make sure that you have something moving. Uh, and play it on one note. So I'm going to do it on a G on the trumpet, okay? But uh, you could pick whatever note you'd like, all right? Here goes. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's that's the second step. Okay, and practice that. Make sure that you can tap your foot. It's really important that you do it exactly the same way as you did with your voice. Then the next step is to say the notes and push the buttons in tempo. So here's the goal, watch. And this is the trumpet example, of course, I know your instrument, whatever it is, your notes are different, right? Okay, so um, like this, one, two, three, four, G, A, A, G, F, E, 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 F. All right. Now you notice what I did, I said G, and I, I did the finger for G, then I did A, right? But I did it in a tempo. Uh, it may take you a little while to get it to that point, but you want to be able to say those note names. Real important to say the note names and to do the fingerings at the same time. All right, while tapping your foot. It's like lots of stuff at once, right? All right. Okay, so that's the third step. Fourth step is going to be to actually now play the notes, but just with um, uh, no, no articulation markings in, uh, of any sort. So no slur and no tongue, or uh, no slur or no accent, rather. Okay, it's always tongue. <laughs> All right, here goes. One, two, three, four. You with 
me so far? All right, all right, now let's add in one of those articulations. So let's add in the slur, okay? So this is gonna be step number five. One, two, three, four. All right, so I added in two slurs, right? Notice the important thing to keep in mind, guys, when you do slurs, it should not mess with the rhythm at all. <clears throat> Your fingers are making the rhythm by changing notes, all right? Um, but the timing is exactly the same. So that's why I want you to do it without the slurs first, then add the slurs in. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add the accent, all right? So here goes. So same as before, but with the accent. One, two, three, four. I might have overdid that accented note a little bit, but um, that comes with practice. I should practice my trumpet more. <laughs> okay, so that's the idea. Now, use that same process through the whole song. Go two measures at a clip, break it down in that exact order. Okay, so remember, step one, you're gonna name the notes. I'm sorry, you're gonna say the rhythm and tap your foot, say it with your voice. Second step, play it on one note on your instrument, still tapping your foot, okay? Make sure that rhythm is accurate. Third step, say the notes and push the buttons or move your slide if you're a trombone player, okay? Um, and, and make sure that you're able to do that in rhythm with your foot tapping. Next step is to actually play it, but no articulations, all right? And then add in articulations for the last two steps. You know, add the slur, then add the accent, okay? And that way there, you'll be sure you have all of the elements in place. Um, you know, in this case, there's not um, any dynamic changes. It's it's all mezzo forte throughout. But if you did have dynamic changes, you'd do those too as as part of it. But be be aware of, kind of break it down, okay? And have fun. See ya. <laughs>